So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to start a business from absolutely nothing. Like you just don't know where to start. You don't know how to start. And I wrote down a list that will help you dramatically start getting results. So first things first, you need to find some credit. You need to find some money to jumpstart your idea. And all of that money are essentially going to be used to further the cause. Now you're not gonna use it just haphazardly. You're gonna use it only for growth, to get sales, okay? So think sales first. Now, of course, if you are building content or you're building uh, like a course or you're building like a product line, you don't need the product, you don't need the course, you don't need even the footage to start out a lot of things uh, th that you're, that you're working on. You really just need the idea and the audience. And then from there, you can see if your product or your idea is a lie is, um, a viable. That's what I'm looking for. Not liable, viable, a viable to you bringing out to your audience. And of course your audience is going to be the strongest buyers of whatever it is. So start there. You need to start getting in some cash flow. You need to start getting some feedback in your market. And when you are literally like bootstrapping from nothing, you've got to use what you got to use what you got. So don't go buying equipment. Don't go like building a website. Don't go like um, building a whole like content library around stuff unless you already have something that is proven and you're going to go ahead and build out more of that. But again, if it's not bringing you sales to continue that growth, put that to the side. You could test and try that later. What you want to focus on first and foremost is using any credits to fund the growth of stuff that's already working, that's already uh, giving you results. So if it's like you taking one-on-one -on -one calls, then how can you build that out? Can you hire some people to take the one-on-one -on -one calls? Is it uh, running a certain type of ad? Is it giving you some results? As long as it's more than you're paying, can you run more similar ads like that? If it's building a certain type of library of content, how can you build more of that type of content? Content. Do you have to be this, the face of it or do you, do you have to hire somebody else? Do you need to improve your audio or your camera quality because you are getting the people, but maybe they're not staying for the whole duration of your actual video. So maybe you have to start improving some things to uh, like capture the attention of your audience longer. So again, use your uh, money investment wisely because you always want to make sure that you are getting a good return turn on everything you're putting into it. All right. Next thing is always hire others to do tasks that you don't know. Okay. It's not the time to learn new skills. It's the time to offload things and focus on sales. Again, not to try to make things super difficult for yourself, offload as much as you can. Of course, there's going to be times that you've got to like better yourself and your skills to even do what you want to do in a certain industry. So, you know, learn those things. But what you want to do is, of course, take courses that are designed to actually give you results instead of just a general knowledge. So if you have to hire a, a, core, a coach, then hire the coach. If you have to uh, buy their course, that's going to give you a specific outcome to making more money, then do that. But make sure that it's not just to learn a certain lighting or a certain like skill. And when I said lighting, because I'm thinking content in my head, but don't think of it like, oh, I got to learn how to color correct my photos, or I have to learn uh, how to do different posts poses, or I've got to learn how to uh, start taking this other uh, payment processor um, that, that, I, that I can add another payment processor to the mix and people could pay me a different way. When you're not like essentially getting sales already, or you're not already producing likable content, or you're not already uh, getting some kind of result for your business, you don't want to invest further down into learning more skills that has nothing to do with the initial start of your business, then don't focus on any of that. You've got to focus on stuff that is going to actually make you income. 
So that is your primary task. Everything else you should be offloading. And if it is a skill you really do need to learn, and maybe you're just literally starting out, you're saying like, I really want to start this XYZ business and I need to have a better understanding if it's even for me. Don't look at that as business growth. That is really essentially just learning to see if it's even a good fit for where you want to take your life. So with that, I would say, you know, don't spend, um, you know, your credit card money into that. Like don't spend your initial startup budget for that. Actually find ways uh, that you can make a, some a side income from whatever you already do to invest in just seeing if it's something that you already want to do. And then from there, again, when you're ready to take that initial step and in launching your business, then you're going to fund it uh, to get to the better equipment to get the better uh, results on the stuff that you've already made. Again, you have to have some kind of results before you can double down and start investing more into that thing. So don't just randomly haphazardly spend freely. Okay, the next thing is model what is already working and improve on it. Okay, so we've seen this in MySpace to Facebook, we've seen this in Vine to TikTok. There is always going to be somebody that's already doing something similar to what you're doing or something exactly like you, what you want to be doing. And you've got to model what is working for them. And this is super easy if you are saying going to be like a content creator or a TikTok content creator or uh, run any type of service based business, you can easily go into their shop or go check out their content and see what people are gravitating towards. What are they looking at? You can even ask people like, what do you think of this? Or how do you like that? You can look at uh, feedback, you can read reviews, you know, there's so many ways to like find out if people are actually uh, getting any traction for a product or a service, use that feedback to jumpstart your project. And that's going to get you so much further ahead than just trying to just throw out a whole bunch of stuff and go through a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't work already. All right. The next one is use all your free time to build, learn, and market. Okay. So you've got to learn some essential skills on your business. How are, how are you going to build it? How are you going to systematize it? What is your daily task? What is your weekly task? How are you going to uh, handle your books? How are you going to handle your, your clients? How are you going to handle the, the customer service that it requires? How are you going to handle payment processing? So start to think about your process, like go through it in your head before you initially launch or start. Even if it's something that you're not really sure about, at least have something to hold on to to be like, okay, so I've got this one person, they're interested, now I'm going to send them this. Already have it mapped out for you so you're not struggling and be like, oh my God, I didn't even build that. I don't even have that yet. And that's fine if you don't have it or you haven't built it. Just make a, like a chart and just like, okay, they, when I get XYZ people ask for this, I'm going to go off and do that and then I'm going to give it to them. So, but just make some kind of easy flow charts and it's going to keep your life a lot easier. So when you start getting uh, results back and sales, then you know exactly what to do next. And of course, this also has to do with make sure that you're learning your uh, marketing and your sales of for uh, whatever particular industry you're in. Of course, marketing and sales uh, is pretty universal, so you can use this in any type of business. But you want to actually learn the skills that are needed for your particular industry, as well as the marketing that people are already use for your industry, because that is going to be your best bet to actually succeed in your business. For example, there are certain things that work better as a funnel, like a sales funnel. There's a lot of, thing, a lot of uh, products and services that work better is in person, like networking events. But then there's a lot of other things that work better on affiliate marketing. So it depends on what industry you're looking at working in or growing out in. And then look and see what other people are doing and go ahead and start that process and that way of learning so you know um uh so you could excuse me so you could quickly get the results that you're looking for okay my dogs are distracting me they're literally wanting it back in the house right now which we're almost done so the next one would be have a launch date plan for a big launch oh this is like so key to getting a lot of attention <laughs> like really really fast is make sure that you like have so many like um, 
like uh, marketing material, so much marketing material that is set up for like the next 30 days that you are literally just like flooding all your social media. You're just flooding your community. You're flooding uh, your friendships and your family and everybody that is around you with this bombardment of like, what are you doing? What, who do you help? How can you help people? And 